Welcome to the shop. Uh, I think today I'm gonna finish the knife sharpening, do funkus. I have some big plans, uh, and I've been meaning to get into engraving for a lot of years. And I just learned how to make a a, a pulse style pneumatic engraver, uh, and I just happen to have all the bits and pieces laying around for it. So, uh, half inch by twenty nuts half inch by by 20 tap and die uh, there's a Ir Irwin version of it uh, half inch by 20 uh, and I'm gonna make some uh, air engravers in the future like not now uh, but right now it's just gonna be about finishing up a way for for the knife sharpening jig to hold a knife and be able to flip it over and keep its its trajectory. So uh, when I come back, I'll probably be getting into that. Uh, I'll look forward to seeing you there. Okay, <laughs> I just got done uh, squaring off uh, a chunk of aluminum, uh, which is gonna serve as the base plate. Um, and I still haven't worked that out yet. Um, but uh, but I will uh, at some point in time um, and I'm probably gonna have to c carve up another chunk of this to to use as the fence and then I'm gonna have to make uh, another deal for uh, this whole apparatus to uh, to attach to so I'm kind of excited about the whole thing like really <clears throat> but that's neither here nor there uh, on to the next uh, portion of of this progress I didn't show any of the machining of this because pfft, it's, it was just boring so had to put a nice edge on it right right oh, yeah before I forget uh, I just went over to uh, steel supply Tacoma steel uh, and got some of their drops so th this is a bunch of cutoff like I think that's half inch like half inch or five eight something like that um aluminum and that like this started out a cut off like this and so um I'm gonna cut this into a thing um, and then I've got some more stuff that I'm gonna make into some more things um, and with a little bit of luck, uh, okay, I shouldn't say luck, it's kind of not something I rely on in the shop. <clears throat> with uh, a little bit of hard work, <laughs> it's much more appropriate. Uh, this will turn into uh, what I want it to turn into. Um, and the uh, uh, face mill that I purchased is working perfectly, so maybe I'll take a minute and shoot a shot of that. There's a there's so much damn noise milling this aluminum so uh we'll see how that works out um and i'll i'll uh i don't know i'll report back or something hey i'd imagine in the editing process that this will be really exciting for me because uh there's going to be a lot of noise uh let's see and that's our 90.
Okay, so I've got two of the main pieces done. Uh, this piece and this piece, uh, both of which were cut out of that weird off-cut stock. Um, and I'll see if I can keep moving on this project today. All right, taking a break. I, I don't think I've mentioned this enough. Uh, if you don't own one of these and you're a, a hobby machinist like myself, yeah, you probably should. So, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. That's my choice. All right, I'll uh, finish taking my break and then I'm gonna fire up the mill and air compressor and see how many circuit breakers I can blow. Live for adventure, to, trying to tell you. Live for adventure. All right, <clears throat> an inordinate amount of time later, uh, the knife sharpening jig is done enough. It's it's not perfect, but it's done enough. So there's that. There's a little jig portion. This uh, rotates so the knife can rotate 180 degrees. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of, of the clamp, but <clears throat> I'm really excited about building something else right now. So. This is just gonna go on the back shelf for now until I have time to work out a better clamping mechanism. Uh, well, thanks for coming along for the ride. Um, next up uh, on the list of projects uh, is engraving uh, and engraving machines, uh, which I'm pretty excited about. So uh, until the next time, I will look forward to seeing you then please consider taking a moment and liking and subscribing.